Welcome on board Narrowboat Isness. So what's been happening since the last episode? Well, quite a lot really. The biggest thing is the crew. So I, I took a, I moved the boat. Um, two weeks had been up, so um, the time that you're allowed to moor your boat, you have to keep moving as a continuous cruiser. And I moved from Higher Point and, and went through the, the, the town of Bollington and Macclesfield. With it being windy, I've been securing some bits on the roof. If you know it's going to be windy, or it is windy, is, is get out there and make sure everything's tied down. And including the ropes on the boat, which I noticed are very, very slack, so they've been tightened up a little bit. I've had a great walk down the locks today. The sun was shining, well, for a little while. Um, very, very windy, but it was glorious. It's always lovely to see that sunshine, even if it's just for a few minutes, for a little moment at a time. And I was going to do piece to camera, like I'm doing now. I was going to do that outside, but I attempted several times and the wind was just too strong. It was a case of just come back to the boat and do it here in the nice and stillness of the boat. The canals are, are a beautiful place and you experience lots of strange things uh, and wonderful things like wildlife, colourful birds and um, today was an experience. You see some strange things are down on the canal, you really do. South American Mexicans on a bow crossing the border of Cheshire. They didn't have any visas, they didn't have any passports, and they were able to cross the border. What's that about? to the cruise. So on this cruise, first of all I had to fill up with water at the service point at Poynton and the water that I use will last me about three or four weeks depending how much I use really and that's used for showers and getting washed, getting shaved um, and general washing up. For drinking water I just buy bottles in.
On this cruise, I stop off at Bollington, Bollington Wharf, where I empty the cassette toilet. Um, it was full, so that needed to be done. And then the next stage was to carry on to Macclesfield. In Macclesfield, you'll see very shortly, but there was a blockage. So not to do with the toilet, but there was a blockage on the canal. And then I went on to the swing bridge, which I have to try and get through myself. But there's another swing bridge and it's a main road bridge and it's at Fool's Nook. And my lovely friend Jazz, um, I give her a call and she actually walked up from her boat to Fool's Nook and, and operated the bridge for me. And I give Jazz a lift back to her boat. So that was all good. That's very nice. Thank you, Jazz. So I'm going to share with you parts of that cruise. Sit back, relax, enjoy.
as in life we come across obstacles blocking our path and on this occasion on this cruise it was the workboat wallaby it was the weekend no one from canal river trust was around so there was only one thing for it move it myself This boat is made of steel and it can weigh in anything between 15 and 30 tonnes. But believe it or not, it's not that difficult to move. With the rope, a bit of muscle power, a couple of initial tugs on that rope, the boat will slowly start to move in. Once the boat becomes level with the wharf, it's just a case of tying the ropes to the bollards. With the boat now securely moored up on the wharf and the canal is clear, I can now continue my beautiful cruise down the canal. Just a quick shout out to Stephen Kay Thank you for being a patron. And thank you to all them other patrons out there as well that have joined me. Thank you for your support, really appreciate it.
If you'd like to see the full unedited cruise with natural sounds, pure natural sounds that happened in real time, then join me on Patreon because I'll be putting it up there for all the patrons. I hope you've enjoyed that cruise. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It's a great way to support me. Thank you very much to all my subscribers and patrons. And I'll see you back on board Narrowboat Business very soon.